Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. We're going on a big adventure to Limoges today because Marie really wants to go and visit the porcelain factory shops. So Philip and I are going along in the car with them, just coming over to meet everyone at Nick's place now. Hello everyone! Hello. Are you all super excited? Yes, yeah. we are very excited! <laughs> <laughs> We're arriving at McDonald's, which is next to Wayal Limoges. Big excitement in the back of the car. <laughs> Big excitement. <laughs> How are spirits in the front of the car? Very good. Yeah, the back of Nick's head looks absolutely joyful. <laughs> <laughs> are you enjoying it, Antoine? Yes. Are you looking forward to the porcelain factory shops? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, not bad. I think there's a fair bit of enthusiasm there. Marie, mm -hmm. how are your French sensibilities coming from a long, long line of really extraordinarily good French cooks? How are you feeling right now? They forced me to go to the <laughs> Mac Drive. <laughs> I had to order food from my car. This is traumatizing. You've got a burger in your face as well. You've got a burger in my face. <laughs> This is terrible. Yeah, it's still there. I'm sorry for what we've done to it's you, Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> Today we've come to a very different Limoges factory shop that we don't often visit. It's called Cookie and it's much more contemporary, pared down to the ones I usually look at. But this is where I bought Michael Potts his 40th birthday present, which he asked for specifically. He saw these plates in a beautiful Michelin-starred restaurant in Paris and fell in love with them. So I managed to track them down to the factory shop here. And then Nick came with me that day and found beautiful cups from Marie, but one of them's broken, hasn't it, Marie? Yes, it has. So I'm very happy that even if maybe we don't have the same color, at least we have the same size. The same cup. Excellent. Same. So we'll look for that. That's pretty. I like the vase. It's beautiful. Yeah, really nice. Let me get that, actually. They make beautiful textured plates, very simple white ones, they're perfect for restaurants. This is beautiful. And there's this one. I like this one with the ridges, very simple. That's quite beautiful too. This is Michael's set, but all in white. So the rim is like this, but just white. I like the plate below. It's quite beautiful for presenting food on. So here's Michael's set. Got lots of it available. Really like it. It's not what I usually go for because it's very simple and modern, but I still really appreciate it. I wasn't going to get anything today. I have bound myself in porcelain. They had great plates in Bernardo, but I didn't get any. But there's this amazing sale going on for just the last few of these glasses in the two sizes and it's 30 euros for six and they're made with real gold which when we get home we'll have to sand to make it shine they haven't done that and so they're giving us the sand to do at home that's partly why they're reduced so much they're usually 250 for six so i think it's just too much of a bargain and glasses are something that I haven't been collecting very much at Lanard. And we often have to have mismatched sets. So I'm getting a set of 12 in the two sizes. It's going to be quite grand in the dining room. I'm so happy that we spotted them. Such a great price. Look how elegant that is. So when we get home, we'll be sanding this and I'll show you how it makes a huge difference and it comes up really bright gold. What have you found, Marie? Oh, oh been so this beautiful vase. You are getting it. It is beautiful. It is really nice. I'm really glad you're getting that. And we, 
have these yes. yeah, Nick boots uh, as a present for me. In a black. Of this, in black, in darker. And I broke one, so mm -hmm. it's my fault. So we're gonna, I think, get these ones. But I saw they have the same color, so I'm, I'm gonna ask. I love the gold one. Yeah, yeah. no, it's really it's, nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. Really lovely. And then of the same kind of texture, like... It's the same as Michael's smaller. 40th birthday set. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly ah. what we got. It's beautiful. It's really nice. And they can be used for anything, like a big tea or... Yes. Cereal. It's a really good shop. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, really, good. really like it. Marie, it's a wonderful sight to come home from a day in Limoges and find you here. Is it? Yeah, it is. What are you making? Lux Ghost. Right. <laughs> Good. It's, um, it's a traditional uh, Norwegian dish, which uh, I've grown up with. So always my mother, my great-grandmother and oh. my um, families like serve this for family occasions. And it's a very hearty um, dish, which yes. you use meat whatever you have and then your no most normal stock um, vegetables like potatoes and carrots and um, I have buttermilk squash in mm. here not really what you put in there but delicious <laughs> yes so I hope you want to try I'd love to try some uh, it's like a very thick hearty soup uh, yeah uh, slightly a stew but okay you know. like a cross between a, a stew and a soup yeah yeah Lopscouse. Of course it is. <laughs> Lopscouse. Yeah, it looks, it's supposed to be something like yes. this. Yeah, that's so, a cross between a stew and a soup. Yeah, yeah. so this is something similar to Lopscouse, just though this is a bit more watery. And this is what gave you the idea, isn't it? This gift which yes. you received, the Norwegian flatbread. Yes. Oh, fantastic. And you eat flatbreads with these. Yum. Yeah. So, um, and then we got lingonberry jam as well. Mm, so we have everything we could possibly need. Yeah. But have a taste. Looks good. Marie, that's absolutely delicious. Is it? Yes. Wow. Because we don't normally like vegetable. No, food. I'm not a no. huge soup fan. That is truly delicious. Thank you. Well, mm. I hope, um, I hope the others like it. You know, it was really, really cold in Limoges, so coming home to this is heaven. <laughs> Actually, dinner is, yeah, pretty much ready. Great. How was your day? That was fine. I got some glasses for the chateau. Oh, awesome. I'll show you later. Uh, I might need your help because we've got to polish them up. They've got a little bit of gold on them, okay. and the gold needs uh, sanding, apparently. No. Why would you look at me? <laughs> you uh, look like a, a gold sander if ever I saw one. What do I do today? I fixed the door in Paris. Oh, yeah. It doesn't close. Wow. Now it closes. I made some bread. <gasps> oh, where's your bread? Through there. It's I nice. love it when you bread Okay, fantastic. What a night. And um, it was a beautiful day. I went for a lot of walks outside. Wonderful. It was nice walking around the shops, if I'm honest. <laughs> Here's Marie's amazing stew, and I've been given strict instructions. I must have it with lime flesh. Marie, what else do I put on? The lingonberry? Yeah, the more lingonberry, the better. So that's, oh. that's just ridiculous. That's not enough? No. Plenty. Plenty? More than that? Yep. Okay, and here we go. And you have a little bit of the leeks. You're supposed to put the leeks on as well? Yes. This is our little selection. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Great, and then I have to have it with the flatbread. Yes. And the Norwegian brown cheese. Well, that's not true. And butter with the flatbread, is that right? Yeah. Tastes great. <laughs> and it's really, really warm. So. Yes, perfect for this cold weather. Yeah, absolutely. And here is Michael's amazing bread. I mean, what a night. Amazing food tonight. And I think that simultaneously, Michael and Marie trying to decide what costumes for New Year's Eve. So what are we thinking? <laughs> No, we're just trying to think I about like it with a what touch we of want gold. to wear and find extrapolate a theme. Wear whatever you want, but with a touch of gold. A touch of gold. Oh, that actually works. Yes, yeah, yes. It works very Anything you like and all a little bit of gold to bring in a more golden yeah. 2021. Because there's a lot of gold now there. Oh, fair enough. Let, let's, <laughs> let's, let's match the decorations. Can't wait to see what you've done with them, Selma. Thank you very much.
much. It's been a pleasure, honestly. I'm so sad you're leaving again, but you're coming back really soon. Yeah, very soon. Good. Get on with the rest of the chat I know. There's a lot to be done, and this is the month to start. This is a whole new year coming up mm -hmm. 2021 yep. transformation of the chateau de la lande exactly yes <laughs> well i'm gonna go See you next time. safe nice. journey to paris yeah. bye <laughs> bye bye <laughs> oh. yes <laughs> we wave from inside <laughs> i think we lost a tree we did wait one where i heard a tree crash it was a tree crash i heard that too when? and we were with david in the kitchen mm -hmm. and Fun. we went out because it was like was that? Was a tree? Is the chapel okay? Didn't yeah. fall on the chapel, did it? Oh, I had a look sure. at the. I haven't gone around the chapel. I'm gonna go. Thanks. Oh. Bye. We just heard a tree fall, and Michael went to check the chapel, but it's freezing. Is the chapel okay? I don't know where the tree fell, but everyone heard it. It was this huge timber sound. <laughs> we don't know where it went, but anyway, most important thing, chapel's fine. Think of the new glasses, Marie. And Michael, what do you think? Look. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Very, very nice. They look like an angel. They, they look like an angel. Well, you can't ask for more than that in a glass. They're multi site but you use it either way. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what he said. It's a measurement. That's for shots. Yeah. <laughs> multi purpose. Yeah. But you see, it's a little bit uh, dull, yes. this. Yeah. And that's because it hasn't been sanded. Okay. We have to sand all of the gold. Yeah, oh, you mean oh, this has to sand. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and they showed us how to do it. It's quite fascinating, actually. And it just we were there, transforms we didn't it. See how to do it. No, so. but don't worry. I'm happy to teach you. <laughs> I think you'll find it very interesting. I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> I find things that I can watch very interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, More of exactly. a watcher than a doer. Yeah. Interesting. When it comes to sanding. Yeah. My hands are so um, rough. Yeah. You know, oh, well, want... perfect, because we're sanding. So that sounds like <laughs> great, Harry. My hands are so smooth, they'll just fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're very clumsy, so you might only have two glasses yes. left. Yeah. Do yeah. you know what? Marie's going to get away with that. Uh, you don't have to sand, Marie. Nicely pointed out. Michael, bad luck. <laughs> you just haven't been clumsy enough through the years. And I have. <laughs> <laughs> the woman in the shop showed us how to do this. She said, do not skimp on the water or the sand. Mm -hmm. We need lots of sand and lots of water. I've done this before. So let's see if this works. <laughs> it is working. Yeah? Look, it's coming up golden. Oh. That is satisfying. It's so satisfying. It's amazing how quickly it starts to shine up. But she says it only needs doing once. So it's not like a silver polishing. It's just that it was never sanded buffed, yeah. in the first time, mm. never buffed in the first place. Okay, I think that one's enough. See, nice yeah. and shiny now. And you also need to do the rim, top and bottom. Ah, yes. Well, these will not be for the dishwasher. <laughs> Marie. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Done? Can you, see the, can you see the difference? So it looked kind of like this when we started, and then like that. Amazing. It's amazing. We thought they were different colors, and in the shop we said, well, we can't buy them because they're all different colors. And then she explained, no, no, it looks like that, but underneath they're all the same. Can Just I do incredible. one? Incredible. Yeah. yeah. This is a really bad one. That one actually looks it's silver. purple, yeah. Yeah. So you're excited about using these for New Year? Yeah, I'm mean, really thinking about um, what we're going to do table-wise. I know, because it's frustrating. They would go so well with a fleur de lis. Yes. But we just used them for Christmas and you didn't want to use the same plates. I'm not sure, I mean, we could do. We, we could, could, just for the fun of using the new glasses. So it will nice, look so just, pretty. Because it's the same group of people. Yeah. Minus a few. So it could be nice to actually do something different. <laughs> Which is on half half. I want to see like a half half shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd like that. Wait, let me just. So to your left. Wow! Let's... Look at the right. difference! Yeah. Just amazing. <laughs> this is a very satisfying job. <laughs> well, I wish I could say to help you guys, but. Oh, uh... I bet you do. <laughs> oh, you're gutted, aren't you? I've got some coconuts that need cutting. Are you going to cut some for us then? Uh, I love coconut. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 
Something like that. You're right, that is actually just as helpful as you helping us polish. <laughs> it's good for morale. Exactly, that's what we need. A bit of light entertainment in the background. Eddie's off. <laughs> Marie just asked me if I wanted to see something pretty. And I think I thought you meant you with the headphones because it's really pretty. No. <laughs> no? But you meant the ranunculus. I know, I'm in love. It's my favourite flower. Someone's very happy behind you. If you could locate the sausages as well, that'll be epic. It's for tomorrow night. It's for New Year's Eve, Michael. Uh, they're your favourite flower? Yes. And I've got something growing in the greenhouse as well. Oh, yes, we know. Marie's ranunculus. Yes, Marie's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they are beautiful. Yes. They are gorgeous. Thank you. I just wanted to show you the flowers. They're so pretty. Look at that! It's a transformation, isn't it? Okay, to be fair, most of that transformation comes from you being the most obsessive wiper <laughs> of glasses I've ever seen. I think it's taken you nigh on an hour to dry them and they're perfect. There's not a smear on them. Beautiful, beautiful job, Philip. Amazing. Can't wait to use them. Sorry about my hair, but I'm still getting ready for tonight's party and Selma has found the tree that fell. We all heard it, but we didn't know where it was. So I'm coming to have a look. In fact, there are trees down everywhere. That is not the one we heard, that one's small. It was half of this extraordinary redwood shearing off. Oh, what a shame. And they're just, just like dominoes. Wow, it's taken all sorts around it as well. <gasps> I can't believe it. Well, there's so much clearing to do here now. I think that what happened is probably this tree knocked into the redwood, perhaps. It's hard to know. And that's what we heard fall. It's sheared off from there. Poor tree. And there's loads of trees down over there. Storm Bella caused absolute chaos here. But thank goodness nothing fell towards the chapel. Somehow it seems fitting that 2020 has ended with a bang. Just amazing what's happened in the woods. But whilst I'm out here, I'm going to go down and look at the stream because it's rained a lot and apparently it's full to bursting down there. It is so high. I don't know if any of you remember the amazing picnic that we had on an island in the stream for Marie's birthday last year, but that's where it was. The island is now submerged. I love the moss on the stones. More trees have fallen. They're just being propped up by the trees opposite down everywhere. It is so beautiful. And one day in the not too distant future, 2021 goes to plan. This stream will be flowing to our lake. Mess in the forest. <coughs> Unbelievable. <coughs> so have you done all of the decorating at the Grand Salon for tonight? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm so excited. And um, I thought it would be nice. Normally, everybody stays in the kitchen. Yeah. But I thought if we open the winter salon with the doors and I get a lot of wood. Yes, and we have a lovely fire. And we have it uh, nice together. We'll have the fire to sit yeah, by. Yeah, start a little bit earlier and it would be nice. I'm in charge of meat. <laughs> uh -oh. So I'm going to go and start cooking a turkey. The one that didn't oh. arrive in time for Christmas we're having tonight. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, Diesel seems actually quite animated about tonight. Yeah, well, there was an, uh, a dog 50 minutes ago and now he's starting barking. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm just drying the turkey crackers. Everyone has a different job this new year. We decided it would be no one person's responsibility at the party. So we have people doing the drinks. You, Philip, are doing the table decoration mm -hmm. with Natty. Yes. Uh, then there's people in charge of games. Uh, Selma decorated the Grand Salon. And Ruth and I are in charge of main course. So Ruth is doing all of the vegetables and I am doing the meat, which is a turkey crumb <laughs> we were supposed to have on Christmas day and which arrived on Boxing Day. 
So it's been in the freezer and it's come out and instead we're going to have it New Year's Eve. I also have some Irish bacon, which I'm going to cover the turkey crown with. I'm so. very excited for the turkey. You are? I, I love turkey. Yeah, good. Right, here we go. So I'm putting olive oil all over the top and pepper mm -hmm. and then bacon to keep it moist whilst it's cooking. Okay. That's a really good fun. Okay. And then we're just going to crisscross the bacon and I've chosen streaky bacon because it'll be a bit fattier and keep it more moist. What's your least favorite word in the English language? Why, what's yours for that? No, no, no. Lots of people hate the word moist. I know, but I really like it. Hmm. Is that weird? No. Uh, my least favorite word. Most words are good in certain situations. Mm. Do you have a least favorite word? In Dutch, yeah. Smeuig. Smeuig. Usually means something that's quite nice to eat. But mm. You don't like the sound? It's just smeuig sounds just, nah. Okay, well that makes me realize what my least favorite word in English is. It's snog. Snog? Snog. As in kiss? Or yeah, as, as in kiss, because kissing's nice. But the word snog is not nice. It's not a nice word. Mm. Yeah, that's my least favorite. It's boneless, right? It's boneless, yes. Six kilos. It was for when we had um, people at Christmas. And there aren't very many of us because the new year, we're not inviting any other households, just who we have here. Mm -hmm. So it's a smaller gathering. It's there still a lot go. of people, but I mean... I think yeah. there's 12 of us who yeah. live here. Uh, so it's going to be 12. So it's a six kilo turkey. Yes. And what, what are you all going to eat? <laughs> oh, it looks like you might have a problem then. I'm just going to tie it in two or three places to hold it together mm -hmm. because I have removed everything that was holding it. I think right. it'll be fine actually. I've never made a turkey crown before. I've only oh. ever cooked a full turkey before. But this is going to make carving a lot easier. So turkey crown is just a bone turkey? Yeah, it's just it's just meat. Lovely. Onions around it so that we can have a little bit of gravy stock being made in there at the same time as it cooks. Sounds good. Okay, so onions are on. Yeah, the onions are in there around it in the oven, and that's it. How long is it going to stay in? Three and a half hours. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, but in the meantime, we're going to be getting on with making uh, sausages wrapped in bacon, okay. which we always have in England at Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's we're having kind of mini weird. Christmas meal lights. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Christmas 2.0. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm just going to make some more. So let's do wrapping them in bacon. And... Yeah, making some half sausages and now making some full sausages wrapped in bacon and then some uh, nude. Who <laughs> wants them nude? Okay. I'll not sure. Yeah, and then I might make a little bit of stuffing as well, have them aside. And then the gravy at the last minute. So what are you doing? Because you're in charge of entertainment, entertainment, aren't you, tonight? Yep. So it's between Marie and myself. She's making cocktails. Oh, that does sound entertaining. And I'm doing a murder mystery event. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So we're going to bump somebody. Oh, somebody's been bumped off and we have to find out who done it. Hang on, does this affect what we're supposed to be wearing? No, no. But it does sure. affect your accent. Oh. oh dear, I'm not braced to accents. Yeah, you're going to have to come up with some. It's murder in the manor. Good. I, I did cheat a bit. I, I bought them off the internet. That's yeah. fine. I think it's a good idea. Everyone's got motive. Yeah. Everyone's got means. Mm. And everyone's got a murder weapon. Well, wow. Have you done one before? <laughs> I've never done one before, but I'm, I've always wanted to, so I'm very excited. Ah, tonight but is the night. More importantly, I'm trying to find out who's nicked the Dolce de Leche. Oh, I had some earlier. It was like, It's on the table. I'm looking right at it. <laughs> it's here, look. It's snuggling in between the pears and the cauliflower. I think you have honey. No, it's, nope. it's in the honey jar. Ah. Yeah. But it's definitely Dolce de Leche. Oh. I've made breadcrumbs out that of That doesn't look like breadcrumbs to me. That looks like a, a pre-crumbed bread. Well, I have done one of the baguettes already. Now I'm going to do the other one as well. So we just make sage and onion stuffing. Oh, nice. We have onions, so let's go and get some sage from the garden. Okay. Can I come out? It'll be fun, Michael. In the vegetable garden, it's a bit dark. <laughs> just a little. Uh, but luckily it's not too, too cold and it's not raining. Okay, I'm going to grab lots and lots 
of sage. Oh, do we have all that sage? That's yeah, exciting. Yeah, loads of sage. Sage butter is one of my favourite things. Really? Yeah. I love um, it with pasta. Oh, me too, with ravioli. Yeah, That's just the and best. butter. Do you reckon you can make a sage and onion loaf? I could. You probably could. Might be really nice. I haven't. I haven't graduated to putting things in my bread yet. Well, frankly, your bread is so good that I think it's time to graduate. Oh, I'm a bit Take scared. it to the next level. Okay. I might try that on, on Saturday. Great. Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, should we see if there's anything in the, in the greenhouse? Somewhere in, oh, wow. in that radishes. is Steph. We don't have electricity in the greenhouse, but we do have radishes in here. Can you believe it? Wait. Hang on. This time of year, look at that radish. So let's have all of these tonight. We can have them as part of the um, aperitif nibbles. They're all ready. That will be a treat. We've been waiting for the right moment to bust out the radishes. Oh, yeah. That's Incredible. Brilliant. We'll have them tonight with the canapes. Okay. I'm cooking the onions with lots of butter mm -hmm. for the stuffing and then I've just cut up very very finely the sage from the garden with some right. garlic and then when this is softened I'm going to add the sage and it's going to be the stuffing for tonight so the vegetarian stuffing this evening. I think it's time for me to go and get ready. Yeah, I've got a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that this is my outfit for New Year's Eve. Why not? Looks comfy. <laughs> a touch of gold, just put on one. You've got your, your uh, ring and... Uh... Yes, yeah, that's it, I'm done. Oh, yeah. I'm done! <laughs> Whiskey sour. Uh, <laughs> cucumber d and We are very, very lucky to have you in yeah. large cocktails. <laughs> I'm doing secret pre-order um, orderings for cocktails. Would you like... I would love a secret pre-order. How about whiskey sour? Oh yeah, I love the idea of that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and you two are doing a fantastic job in here. I know it's not finished, thank but you. it is starting to look amazing. And I'm really loving the new glasses. They're really nice, right? Yeah, really lovely. Mm. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure about the silver cutlery, but I think it kind of works. I think it's will be to repair. Maybe we should go for gold, as it's touch of gold night, and we all have to wear a touch of gold. Point. And yeah. we're bringing in the new year with a bit of bling. Yeah. Okay, well, I better get ready because I mean this. I don't but know what's do happened know, to me today. You but... know that we are playing the game. I know. I know. I've received I just, my I just instructions. Received my <gasps> Who are you? Oh, I cannot tell you. Oh. Can I? I think you can say your name. Yes. I'm M Fatal. M Fatal. Yeah. Which nice. I don't have a clue. Always. Like a French <laughs> detective. Uh, you're a French detective? Yeah. Are you speaking French all night long? Mm. That would be hard <laughs> for us. I, I could do that, but you'd have to understand me, yeah. of course. Oh my god, I am the Reverend. You don't know! <laughs> well, with the pants? <laughs> yeah, reverends often wear trousers like that. <laughs> Show of the cross. <laughs> <laughs> have you been enjoying Who's Who? Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's so great, you've set up the cocktail station! I have! I um, haven't been a cocktail bartender for years, so I find this is quite exciting. That's great! All the different things, I even got egg white mm. up, so I'm doing your cocktail now. Thank you! And I'll have that whilst I get ready! Yeah! There we go! Oh, thank you! Okay, this is going to give me the strength for yeah. what, let's face it, is a much needed transformation today. <laughs> Every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Thank you. chosen this dress as my touch of gold with some very high heels. I'm going to have to go and join the party now, but before I do that and quickly finish making the stuffing, I wanted to show you the Grand Salon. Oh, wow, Selma. Oh, you didn't go halves on this. Well, for you also. <laughs> And that's the background there! That's all fireworks! It's beautiful! Selma, I absolutely love it! And the new disco ball is finally in use! Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you for doing this, Selma! I've just taken the turkey out. 
Now this is going to rest for the next mm -hmm. half an hour whilst we're having the starter. Then I will make the gravy at the last minute. Okay. And now I'm going to put these in. Great. Oh, and I transformed. I can tell. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I feel a hundred times better. You look amazing. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. Why? How come you're wearing an apron, Marie? Is it your character? Yes. Ooh, who are you? I am Blanket. You're who? Blanket. You're Blanket. Blanket. Okay, I'm Misty. <laughs> Hi, Misty. lovely to meet you, Blanket. Nice to meet you. Nice. And this is the Reverend. Well, nice to meet you. And it is Reverend Will Be Done. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nick's Marie has made the most gorgeous little cakes for dessert tonight. Aren't they beautiful? I'm really lucky to live with such talented people. Marie's made gorgeous flowers for the evening, as always. That's the ranunculus. They're so pretty. Then we ranunculus. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> That's such a beautiful dress, Marie. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you look stunning. Welcome, detective. Ah, good, uh, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Is there any reason for you to be here? Has something bad happened? Apparently someone's died. <gasps> no! Yes. <laughs> Let the murder mystery begin. Yes, let's start looking. <laughs> well, we're all about to go and start our dinner and our party, but we wanted to take time to say Happy New Year to all of you. We really hope that next year will be a better year for everybody. Thank you for watching us throughout the year. We're looking forward to making lots more vlogs from Lalan next year. Happy New Year from Lalan. Happy, Happy New Year! Year! A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible. Especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Lalande. Yadeland, Ether, Alice, Allen, Brandon and John, Michael, Dan, Banda, Lauren Barnes, Vince Barone, Denise Behrens, Jill Bidwell, Linda C. Bradley, Candice and Ed Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalicana, Zoe Dork, Sakura Dennis, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Elle Fine, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa La Forge, David and Summer Lalande, Victoria Lapine, Janet Hoff Lombard, Frank Martin, Kim Matlock, Meredith, Robert Miller, Kathy Norrie, JC Award, MP, Maureen Palmer, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, Yvonne and Peter Richards, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troy, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, James Whalen, Greg Wood, David Young, and Ludovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you.